Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Cooking with Grace. Today we will do a traditional and classic from Kerala's desert which is a creamy and delicious parippa paayasam made of coconut milk, jaggery and lentils or in Malayalam we call it as cherubayar parippa. So let's get with making. To start with we will fry 1 cup of split mung beans without oil for 5 to 6 minutes until you get a good aroma. Into the same non-stick pan, I am going to add 4 to 5 cups of water and once it gets boiled, adding cleaned lentils and let it cook completely. You can also pressure cook with just 2 cups of water if you don't have time but it would be tasty to do slow cooking. Whilst the lentil is being cooked, I am going to melt half cup of jaggery by adding 1 fourth cup of water stir and melt it completely into the water and set aside. Once dal is cooked, check it and it should be very mushy in consistency. See how it, it should be, this is how it. Now we will sieve and add melted jaggery to it to avoid any impurities in the uh, jaggery. Mix and stir well. Now add one and a half tablespoon of ghee to this and keep stirring until we get a semi thick consistency. Make sure dal is fully cooked otherwise when jaggery is added it will never cook in this mix. Now add two cups of thin coconut milk and stir well until all is combined to a half consistency. Here I am adding half teaspoon of salt to enhance the sweetness. Also, one and a half teaspoon of cardamom powder and half teaspoon of cumin powder. Let it cook in cook and simmer in this thick consistency for about two to three minutes, or maximum is five minutes. Finally, we will add three fourth cup of thick coconut milk. Give it a good mix and stirring well for about two to three minutes, and switch off the burner. Now here I have taken one full coconut and extracted both thin and the thick milk but there is a choice for you. You can add coconut milk powder adding lukewarm water to make thick and thin consistency milk as well. It's all your choice. Now for garnishing I have I am adding one tablespoon of ghee and fry the coconut pieces. When it is light brown, add cashew nuts, and add to paisam. In the same leftover ghee, I am frying raisins and adding into the paisam. This sweet dish can be served for sadhya or simply in a glass as warm or cold of your choice.